historic and educational tour. That's right, the Grove Street Cemetery giving visitors a view of the people that helped make Connecticut what it is today. News 8's Ryan Christopher is here this morning with the story. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning to both of you and good morning to you. Historically speaking, not only are the memories of uh, those past here from Connecticut, but the stones are actually as well. And that is all in this morning's Cruising Connecticut. They're called Portland stone. Even the bronze stones that you see in New York and many of the places all are Portland stone. No, it wasn't the first cemetery in the state of Connecticut, but it's the first of its kind in the world in that it was based on a park-like atmosphere. In the world? In the world, yes. Right here in New Haven? Right here in New Haven, yes. We have a founding father here, Roger Sherman. He's the only one, by the way, that signed all four documents. Tell me a little bit about some of the different types of headstones that we can see here. We're going to see older headstones that were done in the 1600s and then the 1700s. So, Patricia, here we have a uh, headstone from Glenn Miller, who many people know from songs like In the Mood, Moonlight Serenade. This is what we would call a cenotaph. In other words, we do not have the person, but we still honor them with a headstone. Connecticut connection here is that Glenn Miller lived in the city for about two and a half years before he went overseas. At nights on the green, when taps were blown, his band would blow the taps when the flag was taken down on the green. We have an old Webster here, as you know, is the man who created our dictionary. He lived about two or three blocks down the street from Grove Street Cemetery. The gentleman next to him now is Eli Whitney, the cotton gin and movable parts. He's here here buried with his son. You see he has a beautiful sarcophagus that he has that was very prevalent during Victorian times. What's the story with this place and the New Haven Green? Around 1840, we transferred the headstones into the cemetery. They did that in an effort to preserve the city of New Haven. We still have bodies on the green. That's not unusual. Spooky. But all kidding aside, she, she was saying that actually uh, that's very common for, for many town greens to still have some of the mm -hmm. bodies there. So uh, ki kind of hard to believe that we're having concerts on the green and there's still uh, yeah. people. bodies there. Pe yeah. People there. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, wow. really intriguing and uh, educational tour there. Every single Saturday you can go 11 a.m. and Sunday at noon. The tours are free and very educational and, and really makes up so much, so much of our history here in uh, Connecticut. I about that.